Hey YouTube, this is Marcus with another video. Today's video is going to be kind of short. I just want to share some information with you that I have discovered, at least with regard to the video editor that I'm using. For those of you who do not know, I have been editing a lot of my videos over the past little bit with Cyberlink PowerDirector 12. I bought myself a new PC and I got an HP laptop so that I could fold it up, take it with me and do work on the go. But I also wanted something with a little bit more horsepower so I could kind of get into some gaming and I got one with an AMD APU uh, so that I can actually do some decent PC gaming. Uh, and one of the things that it came with was Cyberlink PowerDirector 12. Now the newest version is PowerDirector 15 and the issue I'm about to describe to you exists in PowerDirector 15 as well. I downloaded the trial and used it and uh, still had the same results and I finally today after I, I guess almost a year I finally figured out what is the cause of the problem I've been having basically when I capture video while I'm gaming or if I record video with my cell phone most of the time it's at 30 frames per second resolution here is irrelevant but it was recorded, uh, at, it's usually recorded at 30 frames per second. The only exception to that is when I shoot video with my Sony Handycam, which shoots at 60 frames per second. Anyway, so when I would record things at 30 frames per second, the source video, the actual video produced by my screen capturing software, looked like 30 frames per second. The motion was fluid and consistent, and it looked nice. And I noticed that when I would take those videos, and edit them together in PowerDirector, the result would be very choppy. And it took me forever to figure out what the problem was. So before I, I show you how to fix it, let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? I'm gonna show you a, a video of the source video looking pretty smooth, and then I'm gonna show you what would come out of PowerDirector here. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal. So as you can see, the latter video, the one that came out of PowerDirector, was much jerkier. It was watchable, but it was noticeably jerky. Apparently, that is caused by the deblocking filter that is turned on by default in all of PowerDirector's output video profiles, and it's even marked by default if you create a custom one. So let's say we're going to export this video here. To, we're gonna for use on YouTube. We were gonna say H.264, MPEG-4, and let's say we wanted it to be 720p30 because that's what we're editing. So we would set it to 720p30. If you look here, like if you wanted to use this as a base to create a new profile, and you go to video, you can see here the blocking is turned on. The solution is to create a custom profile and disable deblocking. Now in PowerDirector, once you create a custom profile, it won't show up under default. So when you make it and save it, it still won't show up here until you change this to custom. So you change that to custom, and you can see here I've got two different ones, 1080p60 and 720p30. And in those profiles, deblocking is disabled. And just by unchecking deblocking, I have I have eliminated that super kind of 
jerky playback that you saw before. So if you are experiencing jerky playback with PowerDirector or with any other video editor that happens to ha support a, a deblocking filter and you notice that your output videos are jerkier than your source videos, try disabling that deblocking uh, filter and hopefully that will fix your videos. So that was it. I just wanted to show you guys why I wanted to show you the problem I was having and then explain how to fix it. So hopefully you have found this information useful. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or suggestions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. And as always, this is Marcus out. Y'all have a good one.